Okay. So that's the that's the that's Miss Whitlock, the unfortunate spokesperson for the supervisor elections, who is left to explain the inexplicable. How the county phone lines only to these offices, only to these offices, failed. Okay, and failed nowhere else in the county. And she mentioned the you know acts of nature. Okay. Again, I asked, as you saw there, I asked about the. Um, I asked about the, uh, you know, what if? What if they can't fix this? Well, we'll just, we'll put the votes in bags just like we did. And I asked about the chain of custody. Again, Julie, Julie wasn't here, okay, yesterday at 445. And now she's in a meeting, probably training, that they all seem to engage in, you know. It's not reasonable to assume that the phone lines in this building would fail, okay, and that the phone lines in this building right across the street would not, nor the phone lines in that building down there. These are different warehouses here. This is a HCA warehouse over here. Now that phone line would would be just fine, and for some reason, huh, this phone line would go down. And when I, when you ask, you know, when you say, "Hey, what's the deal?" Oh, you know, come on. Where do you need a tinfoil hat? You know, so here, I'm going to go in here and ask if last Tuesday their phone lines went down. Last Tuesday, somewhere around 7 o'clock at night. Let's find out what happened. Because these obviously are on the same phone system. I mean, would they be? I don't know. Okay, so let's suppose only... These offices are on a county system, okay? And these are on a different system. It still doesn't make any sense. And again, this is a day later. You know, no, uh-uh, not so much, no. And we'll just, you know, if it happens again, we'll just bag up, we'll just bag up the chips, and drive them over here and download them. And chain of custody? What's that? What? Well, you know? Well, you know, sure. They're, they're sealed. They have a number on them. See? You know, Pinellas County has 3,000 more Democrats than Republicans. It has close to 6,000 registered voters, Pinellas County. The difference between George Bush and Al Gore, when it came down to it, was a matter of less than 500 votes. Or maybe just slightly over 500. When it finally got said and done, 537, okay? The difference between Alex Sink and Rick Scott was 62,000 votes. Okay, 36,000 ballots. That's everybody, everyone, every last person that voted on the primary election day. Your ballot didn't vote when you voted. Your ballot was driven here in the form of chips. Now, she said again, she's having an argument with me about whether a chip is a ballot. A chip's not a ballot. No, a chip, a stick. A USB drive like this, that represents hundreds if not thousands of ballots on the general election. Okay, I'll chat back with you.